All right, we are going to go ahead and get started. Um, thank you guys for coming and, and celebrating your kids with us. If it weren't for them, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be open every day. Um, it's really exciting that we're open Saturdays now, so we're open every single Saturday, 10 a.m. to 2. Every Saturday is themed differently, um, so you can come out. It's free for all ages, 5 to 18. Um, and of course, our, our goal is to get them to attend our after-school program, but they can come either, either way. Um, we have our indoor soccer season coming up for uh, grades K through 8. So if you're interested in signing up for indoor soccer, you can talk to our athletic director, Javier. Um, but what we're here for is to celebrate our kids. So I will get started with that. Um, each staff wrote a little write-up about um, our kids that are being celebrated and honored. So um, I do apologize that I'm going to be reading from this, but it's the staff that work with them every day that have the best knowledge about why these kids are being recognized. So to start off, we're going to start off with um, a member who is uh, getting a very special honor. It's our Club 105, which is um, a club that we started here at the Carpinteria Boys and Girls Club that honors youth just for attending the club daily and signing in. Um, it's been nationally proven that kids that attend our club 105 days a year are twice as likely to graduate from high school. Um, so for this, we are recognizing Jose Suarez, who has over 250 days of attendance in the last year. Yeah, you can hand it to him. So um, Jose has made it into our VIK, a very important kid group. Once he attended the club over 105 years, Jose surpassed all the members by signing in more than any of them. The club's so lucky that the youth who have come the most days is also one of the finest members we've ever had at the club. Jose is genuinely a good young man with great integrity and desire to treat everyone with respect. Jose is a key figure in the teen center. One of the, one of the kids of all ages admire and feel comfortable interacting with Jose. Jose has smoothly transitioned through all of our departments in the club and participated in almost all of the programs the club has had to offer through the years. It has been such a pleasure. Sorry. Such a pleasure for staff members to have his help and positive presence during a wide range of activity. Jose impressively juggles demands activities such as middle school work, competitive sports, social outings, and helping out at his father's nursery in addition to his countless countless hours spent in club programs. It is evident that Jose does not waste time and we are so pleased that he is able to spend a part of his busy schedule at our club. We would like to thank the Suarez family for bringing such a standout kid to the club so many days and thank Jose for greatly impacting the atmosphere of the club amongst the youth. We applaud you for being the wonderful role model and for your dedication to the club. Congratulations. So you can pick up ties over there if you want. Just not the work on the table. All right. Our next member we're going to recognize is another um, outstanding member who is somewhat newer to us, um, but she has completed all of her volunteer service and still continues to come back to the club daily um, and is just a positive light in our license after school program as well as helping out wherever we need her. And that is Kimberly, if you can come up. <laughs> so Kimberly has been with us, what, about a year now? Not, Not yeah. even. Okay. Yeah, about, about since September. And as I said, she's been a, a shining light in our license after school program, helping out where needed, as well as our drop inside. Um, Courtney, who's unable to be with us today, she is sick, but um, was very excited to nominate Kimberly for this award for all of her outstanding work and going above and beyond her high school completion hours and still wanting to come and hang out with our, our little ones back there. So congratulations, Kimberly. Thank you. Yeah. 
All right. So the next member we are going to recognize is um, someone who's been in our licensed after school program for about two years now. And he is just always a positive, bright light. Um, is sometimes a little bit shy, but he's really come out of his shell, and we're so proud to have him. And that is Chance. <laughs> so Chance, although he is quiet, is consistently awesome participant of the Boys and Girls Club. He never complains, but joins into any project or program wholeheartedly. Chance is, a kind, is kind and thoughtful of others. He's also respectful towards staff and responsible enough to do his own homework or any project he is given. For these and many other reasons, we're honoring Chance today. <laughs> All right, another member we are recognizing is also from our licensed after school program. He's been with us, I think, about two years as well and is an active participant in our summer and um, break programs as well. And that is Sky. Sky. Okay, to smile. So Sky is a great kid, well liked by all of his peers and all the Boys and Girls Club staff here as well. Miss Kim and the teachers have told Sky's parents how much we appreciate his ability to lead others in a good way. He sets an example by getting all of his homework done without complaining. Sky also enjoys whatever program we're running each day and participates enthusi enthusiastically. Sky has a kind and thoughtful nature. Because of these traits, Sky was chosen to be honored here today. Smile. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Do a big smile. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Good job, Sky. All right, and our and our last licensed program member that we are going to recognize um, started with us last summer and has been again an active participant ever since, participating in all our programs. And that is Miss Gwen. Gwen. So Gwen is always happy and a positive contributor to the license program. She is always helpful and thoughtful to other children and a great role model. It speaks highly that we have chosen only one girl for this honor, and Gwen was it. She has oodles of energy, but channels it into positive, ac positive action. All the kids and staff enjoy her. For this and many more reasons, Gwen was chosen to be honored today. Next member we are recognizing is Miss Lily. So Lily came to us uh, about a year and a half ago consistently and is an active participant in our junior staff program and helps out at the club wherever needed. Um, she's a positive role model for both our teens, our license program, and our drop-in center. And we are just so lucky to have her. And she has an amazing hidden talent. I came to our open mic night last night, and she is a phenomenal singer. So we are just so proud to have her and can't wait to watch her grow within the club. All right, so we are very proud to recognize now, so I'm just trying to stand away from the mic. <laughs> um, Manny Verdugo. Where's Manny? Come on, Manny. <laughs> yeah. 
So Manny is our Triple Play Champion of the Year. Triple Play is a program that our, pa our children participate in daily in, um, in conjunction with, uh, with Power Hour. So um, this was written by Javier. Where can I even start with this young man? Manny Verdugo is everything that we as staff want to see in our club members. He's always willing to help. He takes the same time to speak to others and listen. He's excited for different activities, especially ones that occur in our gym. Triple play focuses on three different elements, mind, body, and soul. Manny excels in every aspect of what triple play represents, and he does so on a daily basis. Although Manny is young, he shows great maturity and utmost respect for his peers and to the staff. I personally look forward to having him walk through the gym doors every day with that smile of his, ready to give it his all always. No matter what type of triple play challenge is thrown his way, Manny always buckle downs and give forth his best effort. And that's what we can ask for, giving it your best. It's with great pleasure that we honor Manny as our triple play champion of the year. All right, up next we are recognizing a member that has also grown up in our licensed after school program and who every day um, when his parents come and pick him up, he's always begging to stay longer or shoot a game of pool with them. And that is Kai Linky. And he is being recognized as our game member, games room member of the year. The games room is a staple of what a Boys and Girls Club offers. It's almost always the first room you see when you walk into any club throughout the nation. Club members play all sorts of games like pool, ping pong, monopoly cards, four square, you name it. The kids have probably played it in the games room. The games room sees club members come together and play games that offer friendly competition. It creates an atmosphere where kids need to work together and develop their social skills. Kai Linky is the games room king. Whether it's pool or four square, Kai can probably beat you and all of the staff. In fact, we've had some fierce competitions, yet no matter who wins, the first words out of his mouth are usually good game, nice shot, or thanks for playing. Every staff here enjoys Kai's companies, his enthusiastic, sincere, and genuinely all-around good person. It is with great pleasure to announce Kai Linky as a Games Room Youth of the Year. All right, up next we have Miss Kaylee Hernandez. Woo! Come on up. <laughs> Kaylee is another one of our members that has grown up in the club starting with the license program, and she is always the first one in the door every day after school looking for some art project or participating in some kind of art competition. If I ever need a thank you card, a pretty picture, or anything made, Kaylee is my go to girl as she has an incredible artistic ability in all kinds of mediums, paint, drawing, writing, um, everything. She is phenomenal. So we're very excited to see Kaylee grow up and see her artistic nature grow even more. And we love having her every day. So congratulations, Kaylee. All right, up next we have Mr. Kevin. Mr. Kevin? Kevin, Kevin. Oh, you're right there. Hi. So Kevin is recognized as our resource remember of the year, but in all honesty, if there was just an overall nice kid award, Kevin would definitely be getting it. Um, the club would like to congratulate Kevin for receiving the award of Resource Remember of the Year. Kevin earned this honor for his productivity during computer time, calm demeanor, and sometimes chaotic programs, <laughs> interest in the resource room activities, and most notably, his incredibly positive behavior and outlook. Kevin is a kid, is a kid staff can always count on to lend a hand, follow rules, 
help fellow youth with various situations and exceed expectations. Although Kevin is receiving the Resource Room Award, his admirable behavior is showcased throughout all areas of participation at the club. He is a leader, great friend, interested in acquiring new skills, and such an awesome person to be around. In a way, Kevin is a Boys and Girls Club rock star because he embodies everything the movement aims to foster in a child. He excels in so many different ways and encourages other members to do their best as well. Thank you, Kevin, for doing such a great job in resource room activities and being such an inspiration to others around you. All right, up next we have Miss Kayla Crosby. Yeah, Kayla. Yeah. Woo! Kayla. So Kayla has been coming kind of on and off to the Boys and Girls Club, and we always terribly miss her when she leaves us. So it is with great honor that we're recognizing her as our Power Hour slash Homework Heavyweight Champion. Um, for those of you who don't know, during Power Hour, the kids are divided into age groups, and um, most of them have computer homework nowadays. So when they're in the art room, it's it's very hard for them to sit and read a book and, and follow the directions when they don't have access to a computer. But um, So we introduced a program called Homework Heavyweight Champion, where if they're doing something positive, at the end of the day, they get to wear this awesome heavyweight belt, um, and we announce it to the entire club. And Kayla has won it about four times in the last two months, <laughs> so it's been great. Um, but Kayla does an amazing job during her time in Power Hour. Kayla takes her homework seriously and can normally be caught highly engaged in a new book when she finishes her assignments. Club staff have never needed to ask her to focus on power hour activities because she is always on tasks and often wants to continue her work even after power hour has ended. Kayla did not attend the club for a few months, but on her first day back, she earned the homework heavyweight belt. Her dedication in excelling her schoolwork and power hour productivity sets a great example for other clubs. The club staff are very impressed by her strive to learn, ability to focus, and overall admirable behavior. It is great to see such a thirst for learning in the youngster, and we know she'll do good work as the years go on. Way to go. All right, so um, our next member is Gavin Loheis. He's our gym member of the year, so congratulate him if you see him, but he couldn't attend today. Um, and so our final uh, two that we wanted to recognize are Lesson Joan Espinito. So uh, Lesson Joan uh, called me up, gosh, maybe about two and a half years ago as they were closing down their nonprofit and wanted to donate some furniture to the Boys and Girls Club. Um, and ever since then, they, they've been called what Courtney and I call our angel donors. <laughs> Whenever we need something, um, we can call them up. They provided the ketchup and mustard for us today. <laughs> no matter how big or how small, um, they're willing to step up. And, and we just so appreciate having people in the community recognize what we're doing here. So before I start crying, <laughs> thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And you're getting one of your frames that you've done. <laughs> so thank you guys for attending. We really appreciate it. And um, our annual auction is May 16th. So if you want to donate a service or you just want to attend, it's a great fundraiser that um, we're actually trying to raise money for a new gym floor this year. So um, the money will be going to good use. We're hoping to raise $100,000. So again, Saturday, May 16th, great food, open bar, great au auction items. So save the date. Thank you. Yeah, I'm in the resource 
Yeah, of course. We're just grabbing the form. 